Here we go. Best WWE figures of 2022. So far, we got Elite's Ultimate Edition. We got your boy Rollins. Big Dog, what the hell are you doing? It don't matter, man. Let's find out as to what this year has brought so far. Come on, Batista. Hey, it's Wrestling Hero Figs. 2022, only mid-year, and we need to talk about these figures, right? What are the best figures so far? Mid-year rolls around, because next thing you know, you guys, it's December, then you're making a little Christmas wish list. What figures are going to be rolling around during that time? Well, that you're going to have to find out later on. So definitely turn on that notification bell, drop a like. If you want to see Batista, as well as the rest of the Ultimate Editions and Elites being brought right here within this video. I want to talk about this one a little bit later on. I'm going to pull it off to the side, you guys, because I want to start off with your boy, Randy Orton. Right here, you guys. Love this one. This was, was off based off the most recent top picks, and I think they capitalized on this with a lot of good stuff, you guys. Yeah, I was missing the tattoo and whatnot, but something about the whole new update within it, you guys, was a huge fan of this and one thing that i want to do you guys know we love doing fix up videos stay tuned for the next one because i got some pretty good stuff going on with that white gear as well as the randy orton right there kind of bring the evolution back to it all right we also got cesaro right here now here's the thing about cesaro out the gate from the factory there was some stuff that i don't know if you would have seen him in the store you would have been like should i pick him up did whf include me in the best figures of 2022 well that's why you guys are here man i'm telling you he's gonna tell you that the one thing that you gotta do without a shadow of a doubt when you get your hands on this is do the arm swap it get those massive arms that he came with swapped out put these ones on and if you guys didn't see that again go check out the content because this ended up coming off your boy austin right there and i think once you do that change then right there he can fall in right there some of the best figures for 2022 now for big e right here i want to talk about this one this was based off the royal rumble and i was actually pretty stoked when we finally got this to build a figure too i haven't gotten all the figures from the lineup but i'll tell you what this one right here, out of the four, this one stood out to me as one of my personal favorites, you guys. I love the blue, the white, the mixture, and just painting the Amish right there to Xavier Woods. It just made a little bit more sense. While the eyebrow raisin, tattoo blazing, the rock right here, right? Straight out of your Hollywood movie. He says, yeah, man, I ain't doing WWE right now, but I'll tell you what. They're going to make a WWE figure out of me. And that's exactly what Mattel did, right? The whole Hollywood lineup series that we were finding at the Wallys. I was glad that they updated this one right here within the actual correct torso. Because the one that they did prior to this one, I don't know, you guys. They were kind of going based, based off more like Attitude Era. And I thought that this one was a little bit more suited. Ain't that right? Hey, 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 let's go. Sami Zayn also partaking right here in the best figures of 2022. And why is that? Well, it's damn Sammy. Come on, man. You can't be counting this man out, especially the way that he ended up dropping you guys. Yes, the torso. He didn't have the chesty hairs. But again, big ski up skis is the importance right here. Now, Batista, this one right here, hard one to find, even to this day. If you go to Target, Good luck, my friends. If he goes live, you better be in there within the first five minutes because this figure has been doing insanely good, and I genuinely cannot wait to get my hands on a couple more, man. I want to do torso swap with the red gear. I want to do torso swap with the black gear. I want to do torso swap until they come here and they say, Hero Figs over here. Yeah, best figgies. Let's get it. Now, dun, 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 dun. we got the Hulkster running wild on you. Brothers, that's right. Hulkamaniacs also coming in here in the Ultimate Edition series. And I'll tell you what, the hot dog skin tone, dude, loved it. Who wanted this one? I'll tell you what, WHF. Did he want the sleeves? Damn skip to the Duda. And who else did we want? Well, we want some new NWO right here with some too sweet. Drop me some too sweet. I can't, bro. You're too damn tall. Kevin Nash over here also with the outsider's look. And I'll tell you what, that last ringside exclusive that we did get with Kevin Nash, this one was long overdue. A lot of people that were just coming into the collecting game, this gear right here was one that a lot of people were missing. So the fact that Mattel brought it within this, loved it, you guys. The head scan too, obviously fixed ski up skis. But regardless, one thing that I would have loved to see if they would have done the whole double jointed elbows within that. Kind of like your boy Ray Ray. Check out Ray Mysterio. 
This guy knows exactly how to dial it up from the 619 area code. I'm telling you, this guy's coming straight out the locker, landing on all of these guys. And the reason why I love this one is just the bright colors, man. I love the oranges, all the tattoo work, plus the whole, like, ideas with the customs. Like, I know this gear has been used in the community to make, like, the Joker gear. And I'm not talking about, like, the whole Ruthless Aggression, but I'm talking about the one from Royal Rumble right there against Brock Lesnar. Some good stuff right there that we could have used with that. Now, Kevin Owens right here. He was stunning the world long prior to this figure, but I'll tell you what, this one kind of brought it to a whole new scale, man. I love this one. Execution, solid. Tattoos, all right. Double jointed within that, bet. I'll tell you what, MDT, I think all in all, I think in the collection right now, he's got a good handful of these, mainly due to the fact of that figure just being so damn successful. Kind of like your boy Edge, right? On this day, I see clearly WHF coming over here on the weekend. Now, you got two options, right? You could have either done with, like, the red, which the Chase, personally, that one was one of my personal favorites, but I love the white, you guys. The whole jacket mixture within the update True FX head scan and the glasses. This is what we were waiting for. This is what we've been asking from Mattel. So the fact that they finally delivered was a nice little update within that. Getting into some basics, and yes, and I think there are some basics. Yes, I know they're trash. Normally they are, but I'll tell you what, when we got that almost... I couldn't wait. I was like, we need that monstrosity that he's delivering over there on Monday Night Raw. We need all seven foot four, plus, of course, the manager right alongside, right? You can't be coming up here. He says, yo, why are you holding that United States championship? I'll tell you why almost. Because A, WHF, he included us in this video. And two, I think the next runner-up, I'm just telling you, look, MVP knows. He's like, you look good in it, bro. I think you put this right there on your strap. You get that little jacket theme. You put it on the figgy display. And I think then and only then when the freaking almost will come up here and says, thank you, MVP. I appreciate you. And I appreciated this one, too. Both of these basics, solid. And you can't get one unless if you get the other. And if you do get the other, make sure you ended up pre-ordering them as soon as they go live. Because I'll tell you what, this mug, he ended up didn't come in until like midway through because of the back order, which sucks, right? Now, Ultimate Edition, I'm going to tell you, Alexa Bliss, I think a lot of the Ultimate Edition figures in this series, in this year, have just been solid, outstanding. Like the whole lineup is doing great. And I think that's why some of these figures right here are going to be doing really good right now in the near future. And I'm talking about like the $200 mark. I'm telling you, if you guys do any kind of investments, definitely pick your hands on not only that Batista, but this Alexa Bliss. She came with like two different alternative looks. You could have swapped out the shirt. You could have swapped out the whole top portion. You could have done so many good things within that. Now that kind of applies the same thing for your boy. Hot Rod Roddy Piper. And I'll tell you what, not necessarily for the figure. I mean, yes, if you guys enjoyed the movie, they lived great. But for me, you guys, it was that Shawn Michaels theme that we were able to do when we finally got this figure, right? So now Shawn Michaels can be like, yo, beastie. What's up, Shawn Michaels? I'm over here, bro. He's like, yo, oh, man. I see Roddy Roddy Piper helping you out. He says, yeah, maybe he can help you out, too. And that's exactly what he did, too, right here within your boy, Brock Lesnar. And I'm going to tell you why, you guys, right? Future figure right here for Brock Lesnar. couple of things. One, we will finally get the updated head scan. And this right here, it's not the updated from Mattel. But you know what? DWO, he's got you. There's several J Reigns, he's got you. But the shirt right here that Roddy Roddy Piper brought, we were finally able to get the country theme mixed in right here within it all, man. I'm telling you, that Roddy's going to benefit you in three different ways. Obviously, one, if you want to do the movie theme, two, if you want to do Shawn Michaels, three, Beastie Boy, and right here. R-B-D. One of a kind. Unfortunately, there was only one of a kind. And this is why I'm saying this, you guys, is because this figure actually included two different gears. You could have either gone right here with what you're seeing right here with the whole Tiger theme, or you could have gotten the Chase, which actually it never ended up dropping. So that right there, huge downfall. I'm sure some people will disagree with you, but I'll tell you what, it was nice to see RVD back into the Elite Series. And the, re the other part, too, is the whole fact that the last time that he was part of the lineup, you guys, we only saw him once right there. In the Elite Series. Bunch of basics. Nobody was trying to pick those up. Undertaker, though, he was delivering those tombstones. He's like, R-I. 
VIP on the ringside exclusive. And no, this isn't the head skin that it came with. It is the shirt, but at the same time, you guys, we needed the tights, man. I'm telling you, we've been messing around with those fixed key upskis. And this Undertaker, he's loving it. If you guys said the other one, he loved it too. And if he didn't like it, then the fiend, he was going to whole set this whole damn place on fire. I'm telling you, he grabs the lighter for He's like, psh, psh, psh. And then the whole place lights up because he's going to make the return. I'm telling you, if you guys follow this guy, he's already saying, don't you worry, man. I know you guys have been waiting and waiting. And when is he going to burn? I don't think he's going to come back as Burnt Fiend right here. But this Elite right here was doing some good stuff right there to finally get that, right? That was like the bye-bye effect. And anybody that was following The Fiend during that era, it was a solid era. And I would say during coronavirus, that man kind of carried through too, right? Him, of course, and Seth Rollins. You can never count out your boy Rollins, especially when he's coming in, looking in this damn good with them thickies. What do you mean thickies? You mean like sensational sherry thickies? Ooh, I like it. Rollins likes the thickies, Sensational Sherry likes the thickies, and I'll tell you what, first time that Mattel's like, we need to do something about those legs, dude, WHF keeps talking about it, when are we going to update it, when are we going to be able to do the whole pose of it, this right here was our given factor, and so was Sensational Sherry, and I'll tell you what, more for Shawn Michaels, more for like New Generation transitioning to Golden Era, or is it Golden to Trent New, yes, Golden to New Generation, this was the Michaels, well, actually, Sensational Sherry that we needed for Michaels. So, yeah, there were some minor hiccups, right? The whole, like, effect that we were getting with the skin tone on the shoulders. But getting this specific gear, you guys, my Jax figures was still hanging out until Mattel finally released that. And until Ringside ended up stepping in here, right here, with the Ringside exclusive Tommaso Ciampa. Yes, minty, beautiful. Out of the box, solid. You want a 10? You know what? I can't give this figure a 10. I got to give him extra surpassing that, mainly due to all the greatness within the mask, the jacket, and then you can finally have right here Bigfoot coming in. It's like, dude, I can't find my damn gear. Yo, you guys seen my gear? No. WHF is working on fix-ups. What about you? Oh, yeah, bro. I got you. We got seven foot tall. I'm telling you guys, turn on that notification because I'll tell you what. This man right here almost, he wants to talk to Andre the Giant, not only like as an Andre the Giant format, but as in Bigfoot. And once that happens, these two right here are going to make magic happen. And then right there will we have the Hulkamaniacs running wild. Look at this Hulkster, you guys. And here's the thing, too. I know that the head is a little bit wobbly. This is based off the Ultimate Edition. But now we can do it. We did it in the beginning. We're doing it at the end. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. And yes, the torso, wrong torso, wrong shirt. But this gear right here, you guys, ruthless aggression. Him and Shawn Michaels could have finally had the feud that they've been waiting on. Yo, you coming in right here? Survivor Series, bro. SummerSlam. It's the summer. We need the matchy gears right here within Hawkster. So right here, they came in solid, beautifully ready to suck it Shawn michaels sweet chin all the way around until they come back right there within the bill good failure series and i'll tell you this right here dominic later years he did some good stuff but i gotta say the storyline with him eddie ray ray these two right here well actually them three were doing something solid no different than randy orton during the title run right him and i would say i don't know if you could include batista within this yes the best figures of 2022 but i'm talking during this era it was truly devoted to orton as well as john cena and these two figures that ended up coming right here for 2022 they were setting things on fire man i'm telling you this was a whole generation coming to an end. And I got to say right here within the SummerSlam gear and the orange, dude, this Orton, it's going to do some great stuff for the Figgy collection. As well as John Cena, like the just the whole factor that this was just regular elite, not ultimate edition, but they included the gauntlets right there to be accessible and removable right there. So I'm telling you, dude, so many solid, I cannot wait until later on and see what Mattel is bringing. Because I'll tell you what, this pile right here, it's only started, man. I, I got to tell you, as an overall whole, Batista, he's still standing pretty damn strong right there within one of the best figures. Hurricane, 
Don't count him out because I'll tell you what, he's setting trails on fire and he's got to come out of the package sooner than later. Give me your thoughts though. Let me know what your best figure of 2022 was. What do you guys want to see right here following on in the year? Come Christmas time, I'll tell you what, I got all my notification bells turned on. Because I'll tell you, if this pile right here ends up landing on my doorstep, you guys already know, discount code HERO, save you 10% over at ringside. Fortunately, not on Batista because this one still right there is going to land hot, strong within the top figure right here, at least for 2022 so far. I want to thank you guys for watching. Bianca, what are you doing? W Trafe, I got to be included. All right, we're going to throw it. We'll see you, my friends and ladies, on the next one. Dun, 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 dun.